guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chika and if you don't know me, I'm a Japanese American living in Tokyo and today I'll be doing a room tour or an apartment tour because if you watched my previous videos, me and my husband just moved to a new apartment and we finally got our furniture and things settled. So I thought I would show you guys around. Alright, so to start off, I'm currently at the entrance of my apartment and that's the door and we have a little hook for our umbrellas and the cool thing about that is that like you can take off that thing so you can drain the water and please don't mind the trash. We still have a bunch of things to take out from our like move, like empty boxes and whatnot. And next to the shoe area is our shoe closet and it opens up like this. I think I showed you guys a little bit when we just moved in. We kept the first three spots for our shoes, which is barely fitting on my end. And we took off the other shelving so that we can fit some cleaning supplies in here, which is super convenient. And we do have some more storage up there, which we just keep some extra stuff like extra shopping bags, like echo bags, and some more cleaning supplies so we can be clean people. And here's the button to the bathroom. but. No need to turn it on because the inside is brighter than my future, my dudes. Our toilet comes with a bidet that I'm too scared to use because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up like everything else in life and the water is just going to shoot up all the way to the ceiling, so I haven't tried it yet. And this is the stuff that we brought from our previous apartment. I believe we got these decorations from Ito Yogado. Okay, now I'm about to show you guys like the main room. But please keep your expectations low, like super low that it has boots with the fur because I have zero interior design skills, so here goes nothing. By nothing, I mean literally nothing to expect. So here is the living room slash my bed. Let's go in order. Let me start off from here, this mystery door right here. When we open it, it leads to the washer area. There's not a bunch of storage space, so we're trying to make do. This rack thing that we have is from our friend. Our friend had a wedding, and for like a thank you gift, we were allowed to choose out of a catalog what we wanted, and we chose this rack, so thank you for giving this to us. And we have our detergent and fabric softener in there. This is the basket that I used for my hospital stay and this thing is also what I use during my hospital stay to put like on the side of my bed and we just have some stuff that's my shower cap right there and then on this side is a giant tofu looking thing which is a washer but this thing is way more skilled than I'll ever be because it can actually like there's like an option to protect it from mold and like super clean and this one device itself can wash and dry, so that's pretty cool. This is what the inside looks like in case you're curious. We got this from a appliance store called Yamada Denki. And we have our hangers up there. I kind of like it. It came with the hanger thing. And I can't really reach it because I'm very short, but we do have some, I think, cleaning supplies and some like, you know, like those things to hang your laundry? Yeah, we have those there. Boom. This is our sink. The cool thing about this mirror is that it opens. I don't know if that's cool. It's cool to me because I'm pretty much amused by anything. And this is mainly my stuff. I have some uh, body mist and some solution, some makeup and skincare stuff. Let me know if you guys are interested in knowing what kind of products I use. I know it's not very organized, but neither is my life. Consistency is key. I did offer to share this part with my husband, but he said he didn't have that much stuff, so this is where he keeps his stuff, like his hair products. And I really like this thing. This thing is all over our apartment, and it's to reduce the damage from furniture hitting it. Which is super duper convenient and smart. And in here, we just have more supplies, um, mainly my stuff and some extra laundry detergent. I think I briefly showed you guys, it has like a, a mini AC in here to keep it warm. So when I hop in the shower, my butt isn't freezing cold. And I can also blow dry your laundry inside. And this is what our shower area looks like. Oh yeah, the heat and air comes out of that ventilation thing there. And we just put our stuff, and this is the lid for the tub. And we organize, oh it's not 
it doesn't look that clean, sorry, but we organized our shampoo, conditioner, and body soap. We bought this from our old place and this is kind of cool because you can reserve what time you want your bath to be ready and you can also reheat the bath if it gets cold and you can also change the temperature to exactly what temperature you want the hot water to be. So that's pretty nice and then like this little music plays when it's done getting ready it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. your bath is ready to go. I'm like thanks. Okay, now moving on to our kitchen. I forgot the word for kitchen, even though it's the same in Japanese. We just bought this from Amazon, and honestly, it was really hard to build, so I don't recommend buying this from Amazon unless you want to suffer. We just have our pantry stuff, like a little food in here, and some more stuff. I don't know if you want me to explain everything that's in here, because honestly, I think it's kind of boring. If you do, please let me know. Maybe I can make a separate video on it. And we have some like tape and shopping bag and some hamster stuff like, because we used to have a hamster at our old place. And here is a boiler. I don't know what it's called. But it's like electric teapot. And here's my rice cooker. And here is the oven slash microwave. Works as both. The only bad thing is that it's tiny. So you can't really bake like 17 million cookies in here. Not that you'd want to. Oh yeah, both of these are from Yamada Denki, the appliance store. And this thing is a little magnetic hanger that you can put your, well, whatever you want. But we have aluminum foil and some saran wrap, paper towel, and scissors on here. And this is actually our trash can. I know it's kind of tiny, but we tried to minimize how much trash we have. And I have a label maker, so I put little labels on here. I think they're kind of cute. I know you can't really see them, but... And moving on to this area. That is our cooking fan. And this is our stove top. It's electric and uh, I'm still getting used to using this. It's kind of weird cooking without seeing fire. Oh yeah, these are my condiments that I use for cooking. It may be kind of dangerous to put all these things right by the burner, but I'm a dangerous woman, so what more can you expect? I'm just kidding. Right now, I've only been using this burner, so that's why I keep this here, but I'm trying to figure this out in case I want to use both burners in the future. And I did dishes today. Someone please be proud of me. I really like this dish rack because it pours the water that's like accumulated on here into here through, through these ports. I don't know what they're called. So it's very nice. And this thing I believe we got from Ito Yokado, like the holder, the sponge thing. And this we also got from Ito Yokado as well. And here is kind of my favorite area. This area is kind of like my vanity, I guess, because it's not actually a vanity. We had this chest thing from Ikea, and then we recently bought this mirror from Amazon, and it's really nice, and we try to make it like those Hollywood-styled mirrors. I don't know if it worked, but I kind of like how it looks with the little lights around it. And that's the entirety of my makeup. I used to have a lot more makeup, but I realized like a lot of makeup have expiration dates, so I got rid of most of them because they're super old. I still had stuff from what I bought in the States, which was like three years ago. This is my accessories. I bought this case from uh, Muji, and I bought this case from Amazon. And this is just my bag that I use for everyday purposes. In here, I have some kind of random stuff. I know that looks kind of scary, but it's a wig head for when I used to do cosplay. If there's ever like a robber in our place, I put it there so it can scare the robber away. I'm just kidding. Me without makeup is scarier. And underneath here, I have my books. Most of my books I have are on Kindle, but these are the physical books that I own. And this art thing right here. I bought this from an app called Crema. It's kind of like Etsy where artists sell their art and I love polar bears, I love penguins, and I love flowers so that's why I got it. And oh yeah, this string light I also got from Amazon and this thing, oh, kind of matches. This thing I got from Amazon as well. And oh my god, everything I have is basically from Amazon but the covers I got from Amazon and the pillowcase and Let's see. This art thing I got from Crema. Again, the app that's kind of like Etsy. And uh, the picture right here I also got from Amazon. These are characters called Sumiko Gurashi and basically translates to things in the corner and they all have traumatic stories like as, as their backgrounds. And, and this is one of a character from Sumiko Gurashi too. And 
that's what my bed looks like. Oh yeah, so before anyone asks, someone mentioned that my bed looks really small and that's because me and my husband, we sleep in separate beds because one, I'm a really light sleeper and any type of noise, motion, energy, anyone, even if my hypothetical spirit guys are just watching over me, I'll just be like, what? And I'll wake up and my husband snores really loud so that's why we sleep separately but it hasn't been an issue for us we haven't felt like lonely or anything so that's what we've been doing and it's been working out and if you are the type of person like me don't be afraid to like feel obligated to sleep next to your partner obviously your health is more important i think in order to have a healthy relationship so one tip from a dumbass from central florida in japan also the curtains are supposed to be exactly the same but to me they look different what do you guys think supposed to be the same but i bought it in two different years this was from 2018 and i just got this from amazon so maybe that's why they changed the quality or maybe the fabric it's kind of like eyebrows where it's supposed to look the same but it doesn't and it kind of bothers you this balloon here my husband got it for me on my birthday which was four months ago and it's still alive and going. I wish I had like the mortality of this balloon. Here's my desk area for work and YouTube related kind of stuff. I edit here and I also do my regular like day job kind of stuff here. I put stickers here from Sumiko Grashi as well. And here's my work laptop and uh, here is this little cup of pudding mochi squishy thing that I love. This table and chair I got from Nitori. And this is my remote for the ceiling light and it's kind of cool because you can adjust like the color and also like how how bright or dark or what kind of shade you want it. So I really like it. I have a ring light. I use this sometimes during work when I have Zoom meetings and I also use it for when I film YouTube videos. And this thing is a film holder. I use this a lot for filming and also for when I'm talking with friends. And here's the couch. We ordered this from Nitori not too long ago. Have you guys tried King's Hawaiian bread? I don't know if that's a global thing, but like I used to love that bread when I lived in the States and it kind of reminds me of it so much and I love it. Kind of looks like butts. And that's just a throw blanket for when I'm cold. We got these tile carpets, which is really cool because since these are individual tiles, you can modify it to whatever shape or, or pattern that you'd like. And currently we have it in this shape. And here is the dining area. Um, on the wall, we have three abstract paintings, as you can call them. And all of these are from Amazon. This clock is also from Amazon. And I love it because I hate clocks that tick because I'm already a ticked off person to begin with. And these flowers I got from a local florist. It's so vibrant and it makes the room look so much prettier and I love it. And this vase I also got from Amazon. Man, I sound like an Amazon maniac. We brought this from our old place, the table. It's supposed to be a lot longer, but it's like foldable, so it's shorter here. We made the table shorter and these chairs are actually new. This is from not Amazon, surprisingly, and this is from a store called Mitori. The room in front of me is basically my husband's bedroom. I used to have my own bedroom during our previous apartment, but we kind of switched it around to see what works best. He said he's still not done decorating, so I won't be showing this room today, but if you guys are interested in what my husband's bedroom looks like, then please do let me know down in the comment section so I can make a video on it. And we also have our closet in there, which I can show you guys briefly. So I'm currently in the closet right now, which is inside of my husband's bedroom, and we have our clothes in here obviously and these are all of my clothing and I have two violins because I used to play violin when I was younger I still do want to practice but I haven't gotten the opportunity to recently and here's my trophy I don't know if you guys know if you're a new subscriber but I used to be in a pageant and I won a pageant once in my life so that's why I have a trophy here I have two suitcases actually, but one fit inside of this big one. So here's my suitcase and I put my dirty laundry in this basket. And uh, this is more stuff that I keep. What do I even keep in here? Like I have some extra retainers and some um, and some bandages for my scars that I have because I had surgery not too long ago. And yeah, like medicine, pouches and wallets and electronics. And on top of it, 
We have extra comforters for the winter. Our old apartment got super duper cold and the AC wasn't helping so we used to double up on layers during our sleep. And I had more stuff that I brought from the States. And these are my husband's stuff, like his clothing. And we had a hamster, like I said, so we still have her cage. We might get a hamster in the future, but we haven't decided yet. That was pretty much our apartment, minus that one bedroom, which I could show you guys in the future once he's ready. So please let me know if you guys are interested. And if you guys have any requests for new videos, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh yeah, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you can watch my videos when it comes out because the algorithm loves it when people have good views on the first hour or so for the long term. So that would mean a lot. And... Thank you again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!